Now we are trying to see what are the closed path structures and how, how can we closely pack the atoms. So these, these balls here represent atoms and, 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 and they are a good approximation to what we are talking about. Fine. So if, if there is a, a, a one dimensional packing, then what happens? They will be something like this. This is from a use, so you do not concentrate there, you concentrate here. So this is one of the ways of packing where I can put them one after the other. There is simply no other way, right? One dimension means you have got only, only, the, only the length where you can move, fine? So, so this is one dimensional packing diameter to diameter, one to one, end to end, head on, right? Maybe, no, fine. Now, the complexity starts arising when we go to a two-dimensional structure, fine? What can happen in a two-dimensional structure is this. I start packing them like this. I start packing them like this. Fine. I'll use a different color. Fine. Maybe another orange. Okay. So I place the other one, other one just above this one, right? Fine. Then the other, then the other one, I again, I again take it as a pink ball. That is just above this. Something like this. Okay. Fine. Just hold them, just hold them with one hand, press them like this, yes, 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 you see, so it is something like this. Now, now, now if you see, this row, this, this the orange row is directly above the pink row and the pink row is again directly above the orange row. So that way they are identically placed. That means each row is placed just, is, is just like the other row, fine, fine. And on top of that, there is one more thing that comes into play and that is, that is this. If I if I connect the centers of these, these, if I, if I try to connect the centers, okay, so, so maybe I try to hold it like this, just hold, hold these and I connect this, okay, and I connect it something like this, this, okay. and I go like this, like this. What does it form? It forms a square, is it not? This thing forms a square, is it not? And I call, if, if I call this row as A, then this is A, 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 okay? Why? Because they are identical, position wise, fine? I call it A, A, A or, or since this forms a square, I call this a square closed packing. I call this a square closed packing, fine? Now as you must have seen, as, as children you must have done this, see there seems to be some, some gap out here. Now if I, if I want to fill that gap, 
there is an alternate way for me to put these balls there. So what I do, if I shift the whole row like that, if I shift the whole row like that, you'll see that the that the that the earlier the void that was being created here, this square kind of thing, that that becomes very less. Is it not? That becomes very less. Just to say, I'll have to erase this. That becomes very very small. Okay. That becomes very small. So maybe I'll turn this. So 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 then so next kind of thing is see I I try to put it like this. Okay. Do we get the point? Just just do not consider this right now. So this is a bit skewed, right? This is not in the same line. If 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 this is a line, this is a row or this is a column, whatever way you try to think. This is not the same. Why? Because the center of these, they are not in the same line. Fine? Now, if I put another row in the same way, then what happens? If I put another row in the same way, maybe to stop this from moving, I'll, I'll put a pen out here. Okay? So, if I put another row like this, Okay. If I put another row like that, what happens? Are we able to see? Are we able to see this? Just to pack it, I I I put, but but you concentrate here. I'll put it down. Fine. So what is happening? What has happened? This was skewed, but these two are in line, are they not? These two are in line. These two are in line. These two are in line. Again, these two are in line. No. They are in line. Also, also these two are in line. These two are in line, and. And so on. Fine. Okay. What would have happened if I had I had put another row in a similar manner? So I remove this. I start putting the orange balls. Again, I try to stop it by this pen. So what happens? Becomes something like this isn't it okay do we get this Now see, now see what has happened. Are they perfectly closed? Yes, now they are, isn't it? Yes, they are. Now, now look at the, look at the arrangement. The pink balls, they are head on, right? In the same straight line. The orange balls also are in the same straight line, aren't they? They are. This is, so, so in a sense, I, I, I can, I can pretty well say, that I can pretty well say that this row is different from this but these two are identical the two orange rows are identical the two pink rows are identical so I I prefer to call this a I prefer to call this B I prefer to call this a then B then a then B so this is called a B a B packing okay we have also come to the conclusion that when I was packing it as a a a a a the gap that was left the gap that was visible was more than than the present case do we understand that fine so so this is a more efficient way of packing fine 
this is a more efficient way of packing and since the spaces which were earlier like this earlier like this they got eliminated and became became something like this okay it is perceptibly less space that is being occupied by the voids the, the the empty spaces have perceptibly become less that we can very well see okay now if i connect if i connect the 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 centers then then we see that it becomes it becomes what what does it look like hmm what does it look like they are hexagonal closed packing is it not because it forms a hexagon if you connect them is it not so ab ab is also hexagonal closed packing and aaa is square closed packing right once we understand this we can go to go to a three dimensional packing and how how we go about it 